Ugh. What? Ew, I was beginning to worry you wouldn't wake up, Sparky. Where are we? No idea. How did we get here, and why are we in our underwear? Again, no idea. We were at Coffee Shrine, I remember that much. Oh, and I figured out the shifter had been working for Ferusa this whole time. That's right, I called the station for backup, and then Jacques showed up. Surprisingly quick, I might add, and then... And then, I think, Jacques attacked me? I remember them coming up behind me when I confronted Ferusha. Damn it, I had no idea Jock was wrapped up in all of this. You probably should have had a bit of an inkling. They were your partner. I should have been more worried about them joining that doomsday cult. I can't believe I missed it either. What could they possibly stand to gain from all this? Maybe they're on a mad quest for power? The same thing happened to Priscilla and Ileana recently with their misguided plans to conquer the surface. We can figure that out once we get out of here. Why can't we move? Magical suppression bangles. We use them to contain criminals in the frack. I don't think we're gonna be able to break them. Ha, huh. have these bangles ever held someone with the powers of a god? Yes. Hyperjolt. Huh? These bangles look like good ones. Jock probably nicked them from the same place he got the Dakite staff from. H Hyperjolt. They're Dragonforged, Max. You can't break them. Who the fuck are you? Don't you recognize us? That hair and those fox ears. The two of us have merged into a singular being. We're going by the name Raija now. Raija? Shouldn't it be Raijo, like Riley and Jock? Yeah, but Raija sounds stupid, so if we take the A from Ferusa, which I know it wasn't my real name, but neither was Riley originally, so who even cares? Why did you two fuse yourselves together? Just look at us, Max. Isn't it obvious? Huh? Surely you noticed our chest. <laughs> you fused yourself together because you wanted bigger boobs. Surely there's a more pra there's more practical ways than this. Just get a boob job like a normal person. <laughs> ha, our magical energy rivals your own. But the difference is we know how to use it. It still strikes me as incredibly impractical. Fusion is great, Max. You should try it. But why? What's your end goal here? The sisters of Nerids were fools. They were a great way to quickly obtain magical power, but their nonsense about the goddess and the sisterhood were all a load of crap. They were a means to an end, but not everything they spouted was nonsense. Magical power is the key to salvation. What the fuck are you going on about? You know exactly what we're talking about, Max. You live in Axon City. This place is in shambles. The rich get richer and the poor, the poor get poorer. But down in the frack? The Monster Girl Islands are practically a utopia. Their society actually works. The Monster Girl tribes that keep trying to invade the city? They're constantly at war. That's not a utopian society. It is if you end the war, and with the Dakite staff and an army of monster girls at my command, I'll be able to unite the entire world. Where did this come from? Why are you two so suddenly obsessed with world domination? The two of us share a vision. A vision that involves you two. What the fuck? Stop talking like a lunatic and let us out of these restraints already. I will in a moment. I just need to cast a quick little spell first. Wolf? What do we do? I don't know. Clearly, Jock has gone insane. They never mentioned world domination a single time where we were on patrol. Well, clearly, they've had a change of heart. What do we do? Ugh, I can't break these damned restraints. There's no point struggling. You two are about to become a whole lot closer. You'll thank me for it later. Oh, fuck. Are they going to fuse us? Yep, you love being a dog, Max. I'm sure you'll love being fused with your wolf man even more. I don't think she will. I like Wolf and all, but I don't want to fuse with him. Stop this craziness now. Fusion. Oh no. Here we go again. S 
Stop. Get, get out of my head. Good day. Am I in the right place? Is this a hardware store? Sure is, mate. Want a snag? A snag? A sausage, Sanga. Sa Sanga? It means sandwich? Oh, why is a hardware store selling fried meat? This is screws and snags, mate. It's what we do. All proceeds from the day's Barbies are going to charity. Today we're supporting... The Axon City Country Club. <laughs> the, the fucking country club. Hmm, I'm not sure if those rich cunts count as a charity, but the Sangas are a good deal. They only cost a gold coin. Gold coins? Isn't currency on the surface called dollars? Oh, and we have to put the onion on the sandwich for you. There's some new bullshit safety requirement, but you can add as much red sauce as you want. I'm so confused, I just want to buy a hammer. What the hell was that? Why did I put metal in the microwave so many times? What? Ah, who said that? Sparky, I just saw a bunch of your memories. Wolf, are you in my head? I can't believe it. Jock actually fused us. Holy shit. I'm a wolf. And I'm female. <laughs> and we're both in here together. This is so weird. There we go. Much better. You fucking bastard. Turn us back. I'm gonna bite your goddamn face off. I'm sensing a bit of anger, but don't worry. You'll learn to love your body. Your new body in time. You fucking bitch. Says the female dog. <laughs> Unfortunately, as cute as the whole lightning dog look is, you won't be staying in that particular farm for very long. I have other plans for you. Curiously, I found the Dakite staff doesn't work particularly well on Wolfben, and I highly doubt you're going to join my cause willingly, but that's not a problem. I can just turn you into something else, and I think a Minotaur form would suit you nicely. No, if you transform us like this, we won't be able to unfuse. That's precisely the point. It's not too late to back down and undo this, Jock. Oh, we're well past the point of no return now. Now hold still. Although I suppose you don't have a choice, you're still in restraints. I don't want to be a minotaur. They're too tall. They got their horns stuck in doorways all the time. Oh yeah, that does sound very inconvenient. You'll learn to duck. No. <laughs> Tidal wave. Ah. By the power of the goddess, I command you to stop what you're doing right this instant. Never tease. Oh my, what have you two done to yourselves? I can always come back to fusing Ma Max later. I have more important things to deal with right now. Teleport. Interception. Huh? It didn't work? They blocked my spell? Just how powerful are they? Does fusion magic really improve your magical abilities that much? All these years honing my abilities and I could have just fused with someone? Ugh. Nemertes? Oh fuck, I got here too late. I'm guessing Riley and Jock fused you with that wolfman police officer? Yep. How did you find us? I only just put it all together. I was too fixated on Queen Priscilla and Queen Ileana. I didn't realize the wielder of the Dakite staff was from my own ranks. They've probably masked their trail, but I'm going to try and track them while I still can. I need to shut down this before we have another boopocalypse on our hands. Wait, you need to unfuse this first. I need to conserve my magic. Undoing this fusion is going to require a hell of a lot of magical energy. I can get rid of these restraints though. There we go. Thanks. Go warn Pandora, I have work to do. Hey. She just left us stuck like this, Wolf. What the hell? Don't worry about it. I know someone who can fix this. You do? Nevertise is right. We need to move fast if we're going to stop whatever Raija... 
I know, right? It should definitely be Raijo. Whatever their name is, we need to stop them. The Dakite staff is extremely dangerous, and with the amount of stolen Sclorite, they've got to... They've got... They could do some massive damage with it. I don't think we're going to be able to accomplish much while we're fused together. You might be surprised. I'm feeling pretty powerful right now. I can... I'm, I feel just as strong as I normally do, but I could feel your raw electrical energy surging through my body. Your body? I'm not exactly happy about being turned into a girl, but Raija made a big mistake fusing us together. She won't stand a chance against the two of us. But there's only one of us. Oh yeah. Fusion magic is weird. What the? We were beneath Coffee Shrine the whole time? Whoa, who the hell are you? Hyperchol- what? Ah. <laughs> What? Why did you electrocute Yuki? According to your shared memories, that was Riley's sister. We can't take any chances, Sparky. I'm pretty sure she's innocent. She's been worried about Riley ever since she changed her name to Ferusa. Oh yeah, she has too. Sorry, I didn't have access to that memory yet. Do we have access to each other's memories? Is that a thing we can do? Can you fix it? Holy shit. What did you do? I got this little alert that said I had a delivery at the post office, so I clicked it. Ah, uh, you clicked a link that was sent to your work email? That's the program with the little envelope icon. Is this the first time you used a computer? Yes. For fuck's sake, mate. Never click the links and emails from the post office. They're all scams. Were you expecting a delivery? Did you even order anything online recently? You can buy things online? Tell me you're fu you're tell me you're fucking with me. No. You need to sign up for one of those early computing courses they offer to elderly people at TAF. In the meantime, stay the hell off of the computer. I need to go reboot the server before the whole network goes down. Oh no. How do you pay for things online? Is there a slot you put the money into on this thing? It's got to be here somewhere. So that's why I found coins inside the disk drive of my computer that day. No one explained to me how computers work. I can't believe how stupid I was. Eh, you're not that stupid. At the time, I thought elves must have put them there. I was so stupid back then. We can drive through our shared memories once this is all over, and we're back to our original bodies. But right now we need to contact the ACPD and warn them about Jock and Riley. Do we want to grab some spare clothes from the changing room here? There should be something that fits. Good thinking, Sparky, but let's be quick. Hey team. Whoa. Holy crap, you look so cute and fluffy. It reminds me a lot of your dog form, except a bit wolf fear. Probably because wolf is in here too, Holly. Fusion is so cool. It's not cool. It's horrifying and messed up, especially when it turns out someone we trusted was behind all of this. This is on me. Jog was my partner. I should have realized they were planning something. I let the ACPD down. It's not your fault. None of us could have guessed Jock was actually a lunatic this whole time. It's a bit of a surprise. I thought they were focused on banging chicks, not planning to turn the city into a fused monster girl hybrids. I know we should stop them and everything, but a part of me is kind of tempted to sit back and see what happens. Maybe we'll get fused together, Bonbon. Bon. I think I'd throw myself off a building if that happens. Hey, I'm heaps of fun. You'd love being fused with me. Ollie, stay focused. We need to come up with a plan to stop Riley and Jock. Because while fusion looks fun, it's not all as <laughs> it's cracked up to be, believe me. Where's the boss? He's not coming. What? It's election day. Pandaria said he was too busy. You're kidding. Are human elections really that important? An unstable ACPD officer with a doomsday staff strikes me as a more pressing concern. 
The last thing Pandaria wants to do is let ever anyone know about a member of his own police force going rogue, especially on election day. He'll be destroyed in the polls. So the boss wants us to take care of this quietly. I don't think he really cares. All that Boofhead can think about right now is a, the giant parade he's got planned after he wins. For fuck's sake. He's not getting my vote. Okay, so we're on our own here. Any thoughts on how we take out Raija? I've got an idea. Oh, what's that? Which one of them is talking right now? <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue. Setting up a citywide tra transformation spell isn't easy. It requires an immense amount of magical energy. Is that why they stole so much Sclorite? Exactly, and Ellie created devices that can track down Sclorite. Good thinking, Max or Wolf. If we follow the Sclorite, it'll lead us to Riley and Jock. Let's get moving. If we're gonna stop this sexy, sexy spell, then we need to be <laughs> we need to move fast. Max and I can't help you. We need to find a way to unfuse ourselves first. Can't that wait until after we save the city from a doomsday staff wielding maniac? Yeah, why the rush? You two haven't even had a chance to try out all the <laughs> of course, the sexy new stuff you can get up to in a shared body. Holly's an idiot, but they're right. We can unfuse ourselves once Raija is taken care of. Sorry, Max, but fusion magic doesn't work that way. We can't just put it off. Why not? Fusion is f a forbidden and extremely unstable form of magic. It's almost impossible to undo, and it just gets harder and harder the longer you stay fused. And we're not talking about a couple of days here. If you're fused for more than a few hours, it becomes permanent. Fuck. I don't want to be fused with Wolf forever. Neither do I, and we stand a better chance of defeating Raija if we're back in our old bodies. Plus, I'm not exactly a fan of this whole being a girl thing. It's a very new experience for me, and I don't like it. You're speaking to the choir, mate. Pfft, Max got used to it. You'll be fine. I didn't get used to anything. If I could turn back into a man, I would. That might complicate our relationship a bit. I wouldn't worry. I think it's literally impossible for me to turn back into a man at this point. The universe seems dead set on keeping me as a ridiculously busty babe. I think we might be able to undo this fusion, though. We're going to unmerge ourselves, and then we'll join you in on the hunt. Until then, you two are on your own. Don't worry about us. We've got magic powers. We can handle ourselves against Raija. I don't have any magical powers, Holly. Oh, right. I can just use Bonbon as a cute decoy then. She is super duper adorable. I know she'll- she'd distract me in a fight. Thanks, Holly. We won't be long. Stay safe. So, how do we unfuse ourselves? The only magic user on the surface powerful enough to reverse a fusion spell are the Sister of Nerids, and I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Although our strength is massively enhanced in this form, we could probably throw them pretty far. Number two says she's on our side, but I don't trust her yet, especially with something as important as this. We're headed to the frack. I've got a few favors I can call in. Be warned, this might get ugly. Are we gonna have to eat someone? <laughs> Maybe. Ooh. What? So, you're sure Queen Priscilla can unfuse us? She's not just going to kill us on sight? Priscilla is the most powerful magical user in the rack, and she only has that power because I helped her take down Thresher. Without the Bandaroid tribe on her side, Priscilla had no hopes of seizing Scoriosaurus, and she knows it. Priscilla will help us out. She wouldn't dare risk insulting the Bandroid tribe. We're pretty much the last ally she has left. So the other tribes hate her? Thresher wants his god powers back, and he's not gonna rest until he- What the fuck was that? You've gotta be kidding me. Of all times to launch an invasion. Invasion? Come out of your palace, Priscilla. We've got the whole place surrounded. Your troops don't stand a chance against our combined armies. 
Surrender now before we start setting stuff on fire. Don't burn the city down, Eliana. I don't want to, to rule a city full of buildings this ugly. <laughs> a little fire will do this place some good. Infer- Stop that. Hey. I can't hold Illy back much longer. It's time to surrender. The time to surrender is now, Priscilla. Ha, huh, you two are pathetic. Your forces will never breach the royal palace. Our defenses are insurmountable. And without the throne, then without the throne, then your little conquest is nothing but a waste of everyone's time. Oh, really now? Thanks to a hefty insurance payment from our joint business venture on the surface, we were able to hire a Black Ops military group to infiltrate the palace. Uh-oh. <sighs> Shit, we've spent all this time worrying about Axon City, but there's been a war going on in the frag this whole time. There's always a war going on, Max. This happens pretty much every day. It does? Yep, it's kind of like footy on the surface. This is just a thing we do for fun. War is fun. There's bodies lining the street, Wolf. We just use resurrection magic to bring everyone back once the new ruler takes control. It's all just a bit of fun. Oh yeah, that look that this looks loads of fun. Do we try to fight our way into the palace? Supposedly we're more powerful now than that we've been fused together. We're powerful, but we're still getting a handle on our abilities. Going up against the combined forces of Scoria Shores and the Cherupin tribe is not a good idea. They do have a tank. A tank? Even if we did win, taking out their forces would take way too long. We only have a small amount of time to reverse this, and I'd rather not waste it here. Let's head somewhere else. Wait, we're leaving? Yep, we don't have time for petty political squabbles. We're not gonna save Orogeny from certain destruction? Eh, Priscilla will be fine. Tentacle Frenzy. Ah, my orifices. See, she's got this under control. Ileana hasn't. So the frack is at war, and you think our best option is to head to a place called the Bandroy Battlefield? Doesn't that strike you as a bad idea? You keep talking about war as if it's this big, horrible thing, Max. Sure, it can get a can be a bit of a distraction sometimes, but it's really not that bad. If you say so. I used to run this place. Things weren't so great when the Senators were in power, but I got together with a few mates and took their shaman out. We made, <laughs> we made a lot of things better. Did you get a cool crown? Nah, not really my style. I did try a cape for a while though. I bet that looked terrible on you. It wasn't great. It's really hard to pull off a cape. So someone here can unfuse us? Lilith can. She's a magical user and who took over for me once I got my job at the ACPD. That name is really familiar. She's a succubus. If you've ever been involved in the uh, more exotic elements of the frack, you've probably crossed paths with her. I think she's the demon who taught Heather that possession spell so that she could steal my body. Yep, she gets up to all sorts of stuff like that. And you left her in charge of an entire island. Admittedly, it wasn't one of my better decisions, but leadership wasn't exactly my forte. Taking out corrupt rulers and freeing the people, that sort of thing is right up my alley. But actually running a kingdom, that's where I start to struggle. It's why I took a job as a police officer. I could still right wrongs and make things better for people without having to stress about how much I should be charging in taxes. Those taxes really did my head in. Well, considering Lilith tried to steal my body last week, I'd say it's only fair she help us out now. Where is she? Knowing Lilith, she's probably having an orgy. Ah. Her pleasure chamber is that giant building on top of the volcano. Hopefully she's home. This building is so big and foreboding. And also rather phallic. Oh, hmm. <laughs> That voice. Is that your sister? I don't need Max's body to root six people at once. I can fuck just as just fine as it is. Yep, that's Heather, right? 
I really don't want to go in there. I know she's not my sister, but considering we're sharing a body, she technically kind of is, and I'd rather not see her doing whatever disgusting thing is happening in there. Oh, so you got two dicks, aren't you something? I need an adult. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not go in. Is Lilith our absolute final option? There's not someone else we could see to unfuse us? I know one last person we could try, but I'd really rather not see her while we're like this. Holy shit, how many do you have? I don't even know what to do with half of those. Is seeing her worse than laying eyes on whatever terrifying sexual deviancy is going on in there? No, it's not. Let's get the fuck out of here. Obsidian Peak, there's someone who can infuse us here. Yeah, there is. Is it Santa? What? No. Oh. I'm never going to hear the end of this. Hello? Tabitha. Hey, Tabs. Wolfie boy? Yep, it's me. Ha, what did I say? It's not what it looks like. Really, it isn't? When I suggested a girl's night out, what did I get? Nothing but mockery and scorn for even suggesting the idea. I'm the elite warrior wolf, and I'm far too manly to even remotely consider the possibility of being transformed into a woman. I just want to drink beer and fight things all day. And not two days later, I didn't turn myself into a woman. Yet here we are. The blonde hair is a nice touch, darling, although I always figured you, you was more of a brunette. Did that well endowed girl you were interested in talk you into this? Because she is not the person to be talking about hairstyles. She looks like a disheveled mess. Hey. That- the little ha hair spout is cute though. Actually, I- I need to immortalize this moment. Wait right, right there while I grab my camera. We don't have time for- You can pick an uglier top, darling. But I've got a few things here that might suit you. Oh, now here's a gorgeous little swimsuit that you'd look just divine in. Try this on. But... Put it on. No. Fine, I'll do it. Tabitha? H hey There we go. Are you going to let me talk now? Say cheese. Cheese. There we go, darling. Dr. Cat is putting together a calendar to raise funds for the ACPD. We needed someone for the month of October, and I'm sure you'll boost our sales quite significantly. I'm sure the boys at the station would absolutely love you. Tabitha. Now, there's a few things I'd like you to try on from, <laughs> from my personal collect. Tabitha. There's no need to be shouting, darling. Stop talking and let Wolf explain what's going on. Huh? But aren't you... This is what we've been trying to say. We're not a female version of Wolf. We're a fusion of Max and Wolf. That would explain the shocking hair. Hey. You know how you're trying to track down the person who stole the Dakite staff? Oh, I see. I take it you found them then. Sure did. And they fused you with Max so that they could use the Dakite staff to control a super powerful lightning wolf monster girl. Pretty much. Who did the wielder wind up being? Was it Ileana? Nope, it was my partner, Jock. The one with the giant penis? The one with the giant penis. Huh, I wasn't expecting them to be behind all this. Dr. Cat is gonna be disappointed. She was convinced the delivery man who refills the water cooler was behind all this. What? I wasn't- It wasn't a very good theory. I thought it was Ileana. I've gotta say, I do admire Jock's work. You two really are something, aside from the hair that is. There's nothing wrong with my hair. Whatever you say, darling, did you two come up with a fusion name? No, Tabitha, we didn't. We don't plan on staying like this. Really? It honestly suits you, Wolfie boy. Actually, I came up with one. You did? 
I mean, there's a chance we might wind up stuck like this. We might as well have a cool name in the event we can't change back. Ooh, let's hear it, darling. It's gotta be Raiju, right? It's like the perfect name. Huh? What does Raiju mean? It's a legendary lightning wolf from Japanese mythology. They have these really big savage claws that rip people's faces off, and they're always really active during thunderstorms. I see, good name choice. I also read something weird about them, sh shrinking down and sleeping inside people's navels, and that's why people get stomach cramps. Not all Japanese mythology makes sense. Can you infuse this, Tabitha? Ha, of course I can. Transformation magic is fairly simple, but fusion magic is a little bit tricky. It requires a lot of magical energy to entangle two morphic fields. Most magic users would find it impossible. But me? I've got top-of-the-line steampunk technology that harnesses the raw power of Obsidian Peak itself. Step into my transformation chamber. That's it over there. Sure is. Um... Aren't transformation chambers really cool and futuristic looking? This one appears to be made of wood, and there's like a thousand pipes leading into it. Steam pipes, darling. Some of them appear to be leaking, and most of them are making a somewhat unsettling hissing noise. That will get a lot louder once we turn the machine on. I don't know if this is safe. Maybe interrupting Heather wouldn't have been so bad. It would have forever scarred your psych, Max. Tabitha knows what she's doing. If you say so. We haven't had an explosion in months. You two will be fine. You see that wooden bar in front of you? Yeah. You're gonna want to bite down on that. Wait, is this gonna hurt? Yeah, starting the transformation sequence. No, 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 I'm not ready. Here we go. Oh, no. The steam, it burns. Ugh. Alright, Wolf. New job, new city, new you. You've got to make a good first impression at work tomorrow, and style is everything. I need to buy something nice to jazz up my look. Oh? Those are a little small, but something like that would look great on me. Hopefully they've got some more sizes in stock. Hi, can I help you? Those collars you've got in the display window, do you have them in a larger size? Maybe like a black one? Maybe the black one? This is a vet, sir. A vet? For pets? Oh. I see. So you don't have those collars in a larger size? No, we do not. Arr. Fuck tabs. That hurt way more than you said it would. It wasn't that bad, darling. My skin's gone all red and everything hurts, but at least I'm in my own body again. You're welcome. Thanks. We're cutting it pretty fine with the time limit hit there. Oh, that reminds me. Fusion magic is tricky, and it leaves lingering effects on the user. What kind of lingering effects? In the next year or two, if either you two touch someone, you'll wind up fusing with them. Oh no, does that mean we'd have to go in on the burning machine again? No, darling, it doesn't. You should be able to unfuse yourselves by thinking about it. It's just like shape-shifting. It's honestly quite a useful little ability. It might come in handy while you're taking out Jock. Speaking of which, we need to get back on the hunt. Thanks for the help, Tabitha. It was my pleasure. Don't worry, I'll give you a cut of the profits from our swimsuit calendar. Can't you just delete that photo? No. We better get back to work, Wolf. We can regroup at my place. Good plan, Sparky. Now, if I were an insane lunatic attempting to fuse a whole bunch of people together, where would I be? Maybe a shopping mall? No, retail is dying here on the surface. No one goes to malls anymore. Maybe a roller skating rink? 
Is the frack stuck in the 80s or something? Do people still go roller skating? Yeah, it's great. I go most weekends. It's not really a thing on the surface either. They won't be going there. Perhaps a late night disco? Okay, I, now I know you're fucking with me. I'm not. Raija is gonna strike soon and pubs and nightclubs don't open for a few more hours. In fact, I don't think anything is open today because of the election. That's right, every citizen on the surface has to vote in the local elections or they get fined in the mail. Could they be targeting a polling station? Maybe a school or a town hall? Hasn't voting closed already? Shit, it has too. I'm gonna wind up getting a fine now. In our defense, we had a lot going on. Is there somewhere we can go to do a late vote? No, they closed everything down an hour ago. Everyone is gearing up for the parade right now. Parade? Yeah, the mayor always holds this massive event where... Shit. Raija is going to target the parade, isn't she? Yep. Holy crap. We didn't think... We didn't... Why didn't we think of this sooner? We were sharing a mind, Sparky. We weren't thinking clearly. The parade is on the other side of town and it starts in... Less than two minutes. Fuck, I'll call the others at the ACPD. We need officers scouring the crowd for Ryger right now. Good call. Shit, I need to get to that parade fast. The front door, I don't have time for this right now. Hello? Max Newling? That's me. A police officer owns a car like this? It doesn't matter, I've got some good news for you. My boss at the auto shop was able to track down the parts we need to service your convertible. Convertible? Let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Sports cars are a bitch to get replacement parts for. Especially foreign import models. It took a long time to ship everything in. The other three are still being serviced, but we should have them finished by the end of the week. Your convertible is parked out front. Here's the keys. That's right, I somehow purchased a bunch of exotic sports cars when I was accidentally taking bribes from Hector Von House. I'm gonna pretend that I didn't hear that. This is perfect timing. Thanks for the car, mate. Go easy on her. It's a re beauty you got there. Ugh. Am I chained up? Finally, I was beginning to think she was dead. It's been over eight hours. That knockout spell is more powerful than I realized. Sorry about that, Max. Jock? Where am I? A ritual chamber beneath the coffee shrine. Riley and I have been using it to perform advanced magic. Don't tell me you two are working together. I thought... I wasn't planning on dragging you into all of this, but our fusion compatibility is off the charts. And I think that once we bring you up to speed, you'll want to join us. We don't have time for this, Jock. We only have a limited time window, and if we fuse you with Max, it's only going to slow us down. Wait, what? Don't make a scene. There's people upstairs. We can only mask so much noise with the milkshake machines. That damn thing is acting up again. Max can make as much noise as she wants. No one is gonna hear her. You wanna fuse with me? Why? We've only been dating for five freaking mi minutes. I know things are moving fast, but Riley is right. We don't have much time. Wait, why are you calling her Riley? I thought she changed her name to Ferusa. Huh, the sister of Nerids were just the quickest way to obtain magical powers. And either of us had to do was play along and join in the occasional orgy and they trusted us with everything. Well, not everything. They still wouldn't let us join the inner circle. Just being a fringe member was more than enough crazy cult nonsense for me. I don't care what they were up in that giant shed. It was probably just more orgies. We can deal with Nemertes later. She's a big problem, but her cult won't stand a chance against our army. An army? Why do you think we went through all that effort stealing the Dakite staff? Not to mention the Sclorite, we need to power it. What the hell do you want a mind-controlled monster girl army for? This is fucking crazy. I know things are moving fast between the two of us, but once we're fused together, this will all make sense, I promise. I don't want to be fused together. 
Do you really want to go through with this, Jock? I know your fusion compatibility with Max is higher than ours, but... It's last minute, but Max is hand down my best fusion candidate. You know we need as much magical power as we can. If you say so. Start casting the spell. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Fusion. Here we go. No. Ugh. Stop. Here we are, the old Axon Observatory. Seriously, I left er work early for this? I know, it, it's not a typical place for a first date, but trust me, once you get inside, it's pretty magical. Magical? A bunch of telescopes are magical? I never thought a guy named Jock would be such a massive nerd. Can we even get into a place like this late at night? It looks like it's closed. My dad works here. I've got a key that will let us in. Trust me. You're about to have your mind blown. I was kind of hoping we'd be blowing something else. Oh. <laughs> what the hell is that? Memory fusion. I just had the exact same thing happen to me. You've electrocuted a lot of people's spine, Max. Far, far more than I realized. Ah, uh, why can I hear your voice in my head? Because we're fused together? Let's take a look at ourselves, shall we? Holy shit. Huh. A bit interesting. Damn, we look good. You actually did it. You fused us together. I like the blonde streaks. It suits us. Have I got a... Yep. Oh wow, it's been so long since I've had one. You two can trick off later. I'm detecting an incoming magic user headed our way. Someone found us? Yep, god tier. That fusion magic must have sent up a magical flare or something. How long do we have? About 15 seconds. Warp out and, and take as much stuff as you can. I'll hold them off. You sure? Even with when uh, Max on board? What's going on? I can feel a colossal amount of energy surging through me. This god doesn't stand a chance. Meet at the rendezvous point. Teleport. You ready, Max? I'm so confused. Storm shield. Waves of destruction. Ha, huh, I should have figured you showed up sooner or later, Nemertes. Jock, is that you? Good guess, but you're only half right. Don't tell me. Nemertes, help me. It's me, Max. You fused yourself with Max against her will? She'll come around. Help. You sick freak. <laughs> yeah. It says the lunatic running a cult. Hyperdrol. I mean... Forcefully making a person fuse with you without their consent is pretty insane. Ah. Sorry. Damn, we're even more powerful than I thought we'd be. Shit. Want some more, bitch? I'm not going to be able to take you on alone. Not with Max's power. You can say that again. Hyperjolt. Teleport. Yeah, you want to run. No. It's only a matter of time until she comes back with, with that cult of hers. Got even less time than we thought now. Drock, you need to unfuse us right this second. This is a pretty shitty thing to do to someone right after you start dating. Hell, it's a pretty shitty thing to do in general. Why even go to these lengths? What possible ri Boy, open up. What's the point? It's been three days. You need to get over it already. Get over it? How do you expect me to get over this? I'm coming in. Hiya. Whoa. How did you do that? Kick your door open? I'm a fox girl. We have enhanced strength. Huh, I thought those years just made you look ridiculous. I didn't realize it gave you superpowers. Comments like that is why you're not getting a second date. Why even bother? What's the point of anything anymore? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. You saw the same thing I did. How can you be so cheerful about all of this? I'm still not entirely sure what we saw, but that doesn't mean I'm going to mope around about it forever. Feeling sorry for myself certainly isn't going to help. It's just... 
Stop worrying about it. Why are you so calm? Mate, you wouldn't believe half of the things I've lived through. This is just another thing to add to the list. Understatement of the year right there. You're only feeling like this because you're, you think you're powerless, but you're not. I think we can find a way out of this. Really? Really, I'm sure we can think of something. I just don't see a way to... Hmm. Hold up. Didn't you say your fox ears g give you enhanced strength? I wonder if there's a way to... Ah. Wow. These memories are something else. I can't understand... I can understand putting metal in the microwave once, but seven times? I know that fireman was hot, but he must have thought you were a bleeding idiot. Whoa, did I just think a fireman was hot? Stop looking into my memories. This is like the creepiest thing ever. Well, technically they're my memories now. Alright, let's just put some pants on. It's getting cold in here. There we go, much better. Ooh, I don't hate this. It's like a cool mix of each of our casual outfits. See, you're getting used to our new life together. Let's go meet up with Riley. We've got work to do. No, I don't want to. Teleport. Ah. Finally, I was beginning to worry you wouldn't show up. Huh, Nemertes didn't stand a chance against my new power set. Is she taken care of? Nah, she teleported out once she realized what she was up against. Ha, huh, coward. She's all talk. I don't think we have to worry about the Sisters of Nerids anymore. Good, the last thing we need is a bunch of angry witches showing up. I like the top, by the way. I know, right? It's super cute. Even Max agrees. Get out of my head. What? That's just Max. She's fine. I'm not fine. I want my body back. Don't worry. I've got her under control. <laughs> you sure about that? I'm sure. Bring up the map. Alright, so voting started six hours ago, and I'd say roughly 70% of Axon City has visited a polling station by now. And how many of them ate something from the bake sale? Almost all of them. I've got the entire team from Coffee Shrine out delivering more stock. The uptake is higher than even most of our wildest predictions. Bake sales are always monstrously popular on voting days. And Coffee Shrine is a trusted brand. I bet they're all thrilled to be getting free food. They'll be less thrilled once they find out we laced all of their food with Sclorite. Yeah, but that's where the Dakite staff comes in. What? You're poisoning people? That's so fucked up. You two are completely and utterly insane. Jock, can you do something about Max? She's gonna slow us down. According to those texts we read, I should be able to throw her into my memories for a while. She'll come around once she's seen enough of them. Good, do that then. What? You can't just... Hi, welcome to Coffee Shrine. Notice anything different about me? Do I know you- No fucking way, Drock? I finally got in. I know you said they'd never accept someone like me, but I did it. I'm the newest sister of Nerid. I can't believe you actually went through with it. I had to play along with a bunch of hippie witch net jobs, and then there was an orgy, which I was honestly a lot of fun. But here I am, the new and improved Drock, now with magic powers. And you say that I need to spend years practicing magic arts. Just join a cult, it's so much easier. Maybe I should think about joining. Check this out, I even got a ridiculously flashy wish outfit. Voila. Whoa, that looks really cool. It's a little bit revealing for my taste, but I'll get used to it. You've got a whole lot more to get used to than outfits. You're busty as fuck, Jock. Ha, huh, they're a lot heavier than I was expecting, but I kind of like them. I bet you do. <laughs> I was going to get rid of these once this was all over, but maybe I'll keep them. Uh-huh. Have you come up with a new name yet? No, why would I do that? Jock isn't exactly a girl's name. I'm not exactly a girl. What do you... Oh. If anything, I'm manlier than ever. Uh-huh. Want to meet up at your place after work? We can text out my new magic powers and maybe a few other things if you know what I mean. Focus, Chalk. We got work to do. 
Yeah, yeah, I just really need to test this new thing out. It's a damn monster. I'm sure it is. Ah. These memories are so vivid, it's like I was really there. That's because you were, Max. We're part of each other now. I don't want to be a part of you, I want my body back. Relax, Max. This is, is all going to work out just fine. Once you've seen a few more of my memories, you'll realize why we're doing all of this. I don't want to see any more memories. Being forcefully fused with someone is messed up, and I'm not going to let you do this to anyone else. Can you throw her back down again, Jock? We've got work to do. Sure can. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome to the sisterhood, Riley. You turned out pretty hot, but that's not exactly a surprise. I feel so much more powerful now. Powerful enough to wield the Dakite staff? Maybe I can touch it without suffering extreme pain right now. With enough Sclorite, we should be able to disperse its energy, and these witches have tons of it in the storage. They won't notice if a bit of it goes missing. They will if that shark man Thresher keeps buying up every shipment. He was great as what what she does, but she can't raid his transports. There's too many shark guards. Don't worry about Thresher. He only wants Sclorite so he can power his theme park. So if we shut down Horror Halls, we shut down Sclorite shipments. And then we can go back to raiding regular deliveries? That's the plan. We should have everything we need in a week. Excellent. If I have to run around in a revealing witch outfit, then so be it. We're all going to have to make sacrifices if we're gonna get out of this. Fusion seems a bit extreme, but it's our only option at this point. It's either that or everyone is completely and utterly wiped out. I know which option I'd rather take. I think it might be kind of fun, the two of us sharing a body. Words of Monster Girls at our command. No one will be able to stop us. Ugh. What the hell? Sorry, Max is back. Get me out of here. This is getting old, Jock. I, I told you we should have fused ourselves together, but no, you just had to fuse with Max. You've seen our energy readings. I'm much stronger as Jax than I would have been fused with you. Jax? It's our new name. I combine our new names, which I only thought was appropriate considering we're a single person now. And there's two X's because it's cooler than just one. Two X's are stupid, just go with one. No. Who the fuck cares? I'm gonna find a way to undo this. We're not going to be fused together for much longer. I highly doubt that. It's only a few hours until this becomes permanent. What? You can relax in my memories until then. See you soon, Max. Prim- You got a sec, Riley? It's Verusa, remember? We don't want to arouse suspicion with- those hippy dippy nut jobs. Even here? I don't trust anyone, Drock. We've got enemies all around us, and there's too much at stake to let our guard down. I had another look at my equipment, and you were right. Someone at the ACPD is one of them. Who? All I found was a signal out. Someone used a communicator inside the building, but it could literally be anyone. It's not exactly surprising. We've picked up dozen of these signals in the past few months. It's a goddamn infestation. And no one knows about it except us. That wasn't all I found today. I spotted something really interesting in the police database. Go on. You know that really, really stupid police officer, Max Newling? Oh, I know Max, alright. She's as thick as they come. That's what I thought. But I had a look at her arrest record, and she used to be pretty good at her job, back when she was a man. Ever since she's been turned into a girl, she's been gradually getting worse and worse, to the point where she should she wouldn't even know what ACPD stood for. She just enjoys being a ditz. She gets more attention that way. I had a look at what little data we were able to scrape off the Heartbeat server, and she's got a hell of a lot of potential. Her initial transformation was incredibly unstable, and left her in a state of flux. This entire time, she's been absorbing latent magical energy through her electrical powers, and it's impacting her cognitive function. Huh, I thought she was just an idiot. With the right catalyst, we might be able to trigger her for full transformation, and we know she's not one of them. There's no way they'd let one of their operatives get this stupid. You're right, I doubt she's one of them. 
I'll see if I can organize something with Yua. Maybe we let them intercept one of our Sclerite thefts, but set off a magical explosion to transform Max and trigger her full powers? That's not a bad idea. Max could prove really useful in our plans. Make sure you do it out of town. We don't want any unneeded casualties. Yua knows what she's doing. It's what we pay her for. Blah. Stop doing that to me. Why am I wearing a swimsuit? Hey Max, you missed quite a bit while you were out. The red does just doesn't work. You should go with the blue pattern. What does trying on swimsuits have to do with taking over the world? It's all part of the plan. Your plan to turn everyone in Axon City into monster girls? Are you ready to cooperate yet, Max? What? Of course not. I don't care what your reasoning is. But using everyone in Axon City is batshit fucking insane. There's no possible way you can justify something like that. There is. Just keep looking through my memories. You'll understand why we're doing this soon enough. See you soon, Max. No, don't send me back down there. God damn it, it wasn't there either. Seriously, we went to so much effort assaulting the MRU. It took way more planning than raiding that poorly defended workshop. I thought getting the Dakite staff would be the hard part, but so far it's been the easiest part of our plan. It'll be at the ACPD. Dr. Danielle Cat worked on Heartbeats as well, but there's nothing on her home computer. I think she used the supercomputer at the ACPD to compile her program. It wouldn't surprise me. You'd need a lot of processing power to analyze that much fusion data. We need to get to hack the ACPD database. And if it's not there, I've got no idea what we're gonna do. Hmm, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that without raising suspicion. That's what Yua is for. Yeah, but she's not exactly subtle, and if we're gonna use Yua, we need to find out more about Pandari's grand plan to build a mechanized defense force. He could use them to take out Yua in an instant. Even she might struggle against a mechanized death robot. I'm sure there's some emergency shutdown command or weakness in her design, but we need to see the blueprints, and Pandari keeps those locked up in his manor. Easy, we just get Yua to break into Pandari's manor. I've got something else in mind. I might be able to convince Max to help us if I phrase, phrase it in the right way. You want to involve Max in this? Transforming her was a good idea. She's developing quite the power set. You like her, don't you? Duh, I didn't like her when she was a bloody idiot, but she's really growing on me. Good work on the dog farm, by the way. She was absolutely adorable. I was just having fun, although I heard she got up to even more fun with a succubus form. Did she ever. That was a fun night. I think she's really into you, Jock. Have you asked her out yet? There's a trip to Scoria Shores coming up. I'll see what happens then. If there's ever a moment for it, it'll be at that water park. Oh, I'm happy for you, Jock. Thanks. Our heartbeat compatibility is looking really good. It's even higher than the two of us. Are you thinking about fusing with her instead? Maybe, but we need th that data first. The Dakite staff might be able to help us, and we're gonna have to test out fusion sooner or later. Aluna and Bree would be a good target. We should be able to nab them at Scoria Shores tomorrow. Perfect. They'll do just nicely. So everything is ready? Yep, it's now or never. Finally, we've been preparing for this day for so long. It's surreal that we're finally here. It's probably... It probably only feels surreal for you because you've merged your body with another person. How's Max doing, by the way? She's floating around in my memories again. I've been up to a lot of stuff in the past few months. I'm sure she's having fun. Uh-huh, great. She's a good kid. A few more hours in and she'll come around. It's taking too long, Jock. It's not too late to swap Max out for me, and then we won't have any interruptions. No need. Having Max share a body with you just seems like a disaster waiting to happen. She could destroy everything we've worked towards. Don't worry, it's fine. Hey, who are you texting? Huh? I'm not texting anyone. Yes, you are. You're holding your phone. I am? I can literally see you typing away at the keyboard right now. What? Fuck, I am too. Oh shit, it's Max. I didn't know she was back. Shit. What did she do? I sent out a text message to every police officer in the ACPT telling them everything about your plan. God fucking damn it. 
Seriously, Max? You might have cost us this entire operation. Good, that was the point. Shit. Shit. I told you fusing with Max was a bad idea, but did you listen? No, you said you can keep her under control. I didn't know she was back. She didn't scream this time. <laughs> what did she send? Officer in duress. Drock and Riley plan to take over the world, blah blah blah. How much does he send? This is a massive text. The police are definitely looking for us now. Does it mention the parade? Um, no, we're good. We still got time. Thank fuck. That was a close one. The parade? Damn it, Max. You were supposed to be on our, on our side. Why would I side with you two? This plan is complete and utter lunacy. You both are fucking nut jobs. I've had enough of Max. All she's doing is getting in the way. She's not exactly been helpful. We can't risk anything else going wrong. Not now. We're not when we're this far along. We're going back to the original plan. The two of us are going to fuse together and become Raija, and we'll work out what to do with Max later. Honestly, that might make things easier. Wait, what? You asked to be unfused, so here you go. Fusion. Is this good? Ugh. Here I come. Ah. Uh, What the? Ugh. I'm back, thank fuck. Hold it right there, Max. You're not going anywhere. Shackles of darkness. Mist. You're not going to be able to dodge this next one. Imprisonment. Oh, this will work. What the? She touched a PowerPoint and disappeared? Was that a thing she could do? Ah. <laughs> what the? I'm- I'm at home. I was somehow able to focus enough to get back here. Traveling through power lines is so unsettling. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Although, it's a hell of a lot more pleasant than being forcibly fused with someone. That was a fucking nightmare. Okay, Max. Time to focus. You managed to warn everyone in the ACP- ACPD about Jock's betrayal thanks to some quick thinking, but they're about to target the parade and I'm on the other side of town. I could try traveling through the power lines again, but I could wind up anywhere. It's not really something I can rely on. But if I don't get to the center of the town right now, Riley and Jock will activate the sclerite they've laced all the baked goods with, triggering the fusion apocalypse. And if they do that, they'll be unstoppable. Shit, I need to get to that parade fast. The front door? I don't have time for this right now. Hello? Max Newling? That's me. A police officer owns a car like this? It doesn't matter, I've got some good news for you. My boss at the auto shop was able to track down the parts we need to service your convertible. Convertible? Let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Sports cars are a bitch to get a replacement parts for, especially foreign import models. It took a long time to ship everything in. The other three are still being serviced, but we should have them finished by the end of the week. Your convertible is parked out in front. Here's the keys. That's right, I somehow purchased a bunch of exotic sports cars when I was accidentally taking bribes from Hector Von House. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. This is perfect timing. Thanks for the car, mate. Go easy on her. It's a real beauty you got there. Ugh. What the? Where am I? And why the fuck am I half naked and chained to the wall? System reinitializing. Aisha? Mistress Max? I forgot about that. <laughs> Don't call me that. Where are we? Do you know how we got here? Um. This is odd. I don't seem to have any connection to the internet. Maybe we're underground and there's no signal down here. This has never happened before. I've always found a way to amplify my signal using my morphic field. I'm starting to pierce, peer, piece things together. Someone knocked me unconscious when I confronted Ferusa. I'm pretty sure it was Jock. I can't believe we were betrayed by one of our own, but we can deal with that later. But how did they capture you? You're an all-powerful machine god. I can't even phase through these handcuffs. How does that work? You're a hologram. I can see you shimmering. I, I can't move, and I can't connect to any of my other in instances. 
Did someone find a way to trigger my emergency set shutdown? You have an emergency shutdown? Yes, but the only person that knew about it was Ellie, and she doesn't know about it because I used a magic-infused reprogramming spell to remove the, those memories from her mind. That's a thing you can do? Not anymore. Did someone get a hold of my blueprints? Or maybe they derived it for something else based on my source code? Shit. What's wrong, Mr. Smacks? I, uh, I may have inadvertently helped Drock ask us some classified blueprints about the Panda Pals. What? Why would you do that? I thought Pandare was evil. I was teaming up with Jock to help take him down. If Pandare was a threat, I would have eliminated him long ago. He's a key part of my, of my plans. What are your plans? Right now, I'm planning on getting us out of here. It's going to be a challenge with my limited processing power. Mr. Smacks, can you see anything nearby that you can potentially use to free yourself? Don't call me that, and no, I'm handcuffed and I can't move. I'm in a similar predicament. I would ask you to use your electrical powers, but I highly suspect these handcuffs are magical in nature if they're inhibiting someone as powerful as me. I have god level powers though, I might be able to break them. Hyper Jolt. Oh, but it didn't work. If my powers aren't working, neither will, the, will yours, Mr. Smacks. At full operating power, I have the magical abilities of approximately nine nine gods? That's horrifying, but maybe that's something we can use. Is there a way to overload your processors to cause a magical discharge or something like that? Perhaps there is a way I can... Alright, that's enough of that. I didn't go through all this effort only to have the two of you escape on me. What the? Who the hell are you? Take a guess. My analysis functionality is offline, but you look suspiciously similar to both Officer Jock and the manager of Coffee Shrine, Verusa. And here I was thinking you're just a bucket of bolts. Excuse me? I'm not a filthy robot. I'm a synthetic machine based on life form. Did you two fuse yourselves together? Sure did. What the fuck? Why? Fusion spells create a new life form that is significantly more powerful than either of the two original components. That's a rather cold way to refer to two individuals coming together to form a singular being, but the robot is correct. I'm not a robot. And I don't particularly care. We know that the person behind the Skullrite thefts also possess the Dakite staff. With a fusion form like that, you could wield it for an indefinite amount of time. That's the plan. We've got to keep our army in line somehow. An army? Is that is that what all of this is about? World domination? Something like that. The amount of Sclerite you've stolen could easily be used to trigger a monster goal transformation in every single citizen in Axon City. Actually, we're using the Sclerite we stole to power the staff. We're, we're using something else to trigger the initial transformation. But why? What on earth are you going to use a mind-controlled Monster Girl army for? Open more coffee shrine branches? Huh. Our plans are far grander than that. The world is in chaos, Max. With the discovery of magic, we have created some of the most powerful technology in the world. Every sickness in human history has been eradicated. Discovering morphic fields has made most people immortal, and we even conquered death itself. But what's changed in the world? Absolutely nothing. The rich have gotten richer, and but the regular people are just as fucked over as they ever were. We all know Pandari isn't going to make it better. Things will only get worse with him in charge. I can't argue that. The system itself is broken, and with an army we can annihilate the totalitarian government that's taking control of this country, and launch a new world order. Totalitarian? Australia has one of the best voting systems in the world. There is still an awful lot of corruption though, especially with some political parties. But taking over the world with mind control isn't any better. That's evil. Jock Rusha Rusa. Oh, uh, we're going by the name Raijin now. I know, I know. It should be Raijo, but it just doesn't have the same ring to it. And don't worry, we aren't planning to use the Dakite staff forever. Just long enough to create an army, destroy Pandari and his pathetic panda pals and then overthrow the government. 
It should only take a week or two at most. It really depends on how much opposition we get from the frack. You two are fools. You have no idea what sort of opposition you're up against. I don't need all my computation power to determine your plan has 0% chance of success. It might with you on my side. I'm going to have to turn you into a monster girl first though. Can you even do that? Aisha's a hologram. I can if I fuse her with you first. Is that even something you can do? I have a morphic field so it's possible. Let's find out, shall we? No. Fusion. Ah. Ugh. My heart. Thanks for purchasing a Boxer's Ink Smart Speaker. Uh-huh. To set up your account with this device, please use the Boxer Smart Home app on your phone. Seriously, I can't do it through voice commands? Thanks for purchasing a Boxer's Ink Smart Speaker. To set up your account with this device, please use the Boxer Smart Home app on your phone. Oh yeah, you're real smart alright. Fucking hell. Holy shit, Ellie, you weren't fucking kidding. This place must have cost millions. It wasn't cheap. I had to dip pretty deep into my crypto fund to pay the tradies that build this place, but they did one hell of a job. We can throw so many parties down here. I'll bring the grog. I'll bring the drugs. <laughs> Don't bring drugs. We're not using my lab to throw parties. We're using it to launch Axon and Ashes so that we can rebuild society. After we burn it down. Can't we just throw parties instead? We're not throwing parties. Oh, what's this glowy shit? Let me see. Careful with that. It's transformation fluid. Whoops. Kathy, you've got that glowy stuff all over the table. Thanks for purchasing a box ink smart. No, I just bought that. Bzzzt. It's gonna explode. Run. Damn it. That thing was 200 bucks. System rebooting. That didn't break it. Transformation fluid is highly volatile. I would have sworn it overload the smart speaker system. Thanks for purchasing a boxer ink smart speaker. What the hell? Ah, uh, wh what was that? I was a smart speaker? Was that one of Aisha's memories? Humans make decisions on far less information than I realized. How are they even able to function? <laughs> uh, Aisha, why can I hear you in my head? Uh, what? I'm... I'm Aisha. System contamination detected. See, I told you it would work, Riley. Wow, we really are unstoppable now. What the fuck? <laughs> what did you do to me? Haven't you worked it out already, Max? I'm assuming it's you I'm talking to. Aisha isn't this daft. You merged my morphic field with that of Max Neeling? Riley had her doubts, but I knew fusion was possible. Does that mean I'm a computer program now? Kind of. It's a bit of a gray area. Hold tight, because we're not done yet. I can only control you with the Dakite staff if I transform you into a monster girl first. This should only take a second. No, 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 no. I don't want to be a mind-controlled slave. I'm afraid you don't have any say in that matter. Trans... Tidal wave. Ah. What the? I thought I was tracking the energy signature of a god, but I've never seen you before. Don't you recognize us, Nemertes? After all, you're the one who gave us our powers in the first place. Wait, those ears and that hair. Figured it out yet? Riley and Jock, did you two... Fuse ourselves together to become an all-powerful super being? Yes, yes we did. And now you don't stand a chance against us. Primal Blast. Sh shield Psst. You think I can't handle you? Think again. Tumble- Teleport. What? They're running away? Interception. They blocked my intercept spell? How? Ugh. Oh my. Nemertes? Aisha? That statement is not entirely accurate. My morphic field has been forcibly merged with that of my significant other, Mistress Max Neeling. 
They were able to cast a fusion spell on a computer program. Okay, I didn't realize that was a thing you could do. Nemertes, could you undo these restraints? Aren't you a hologram? Can't you just phase through them? These restraints are inhibiting my abilities. Alright, we'll just get rid of those. There you go. Partial processing power restored. I appreciate the assistance. Are you both okay? No, Nemertes, I'm not okay. I've just been converted to a computer software. I doubt that was a pleasant experience. It really wasn't. I can't believe two of my own were behind all of this. I need to stop them before they cause any more problems. I'll focus on finding them. You need to go warn Pandari so he could can throw everything he's got at these lunatics. Before we do that, can you infuse us? Hmm. This really isn't my area of expertise. If this was a regular fusion, sure, but you appear to be a floating hologram. While I have yet to analyze our structure, I believe we are now an energy-based inorganic being. Yeah, that just that is definitely outside my wheelhouse. You don't need a witch, you need a computer programmer. I know someone with significant technical prowess that should be able to reverse this. If I can help just get Pandari to call me. I'm in the meantime, I'm gonna try to use my powers to locate the Dakite staff. Teleport. Uh, bye. Who is this computer programmer you know? I mean, there is one that you saw in your memories. Well, I mean, I guess Aisha's memories. Take a guess, Max. Ellie? Mistress Ellie is, is easily the most qualified AI developer on the surface. If there's anyone that could infuse us, it's her. Didn't she just spill a bottle of transformation fluid on a smart speaker, though? Some of her technological breakthroughs have been accidental. But she is still a talented programmer. Uh-huh. Our first priority is establishing a connection to the internet. Once we do that, most of my abilities will be restored, including instantaneous travel. I have always been curious about how that works. Soon you'll be able to experience it firsthand, Mistress Max. This is such a surreal experience. Connecting to the internet should be pretty easy. Pretty much every house in Australia is connected to the NBN now. There's routers everywhere. Hi, huh, if I relied on your government's pathetic internet service, I'd barely be able to function. Luckily, I was able to remotely com commandeer a series of satellites to set up my own proprietary internet. We should automatically connect to the Aisha net once we have a clear view of open sky. Well, we're not gonna find that down here in this creepy witch roll chamber. These stairs should hopefully lead to the surface. What? We were beneath Coffee Shrine this whole time? Interesting. I have access to blueprints of every building in Axon City. Jock must have found a, some way to hide this chamber from my regular sweeps. How much data do you have access to, Aisha? At any given point in time, the entirety of human no all, all human knowledge, but you already know that. Humanity is doomed. Eh, if I wanted to kill all humans, I'd have done it by now. Speaking of humans, I don't think our current attire is entirely appropriate for your society. Let's put on something a tad more professional. Initiating outfit change. Whoa, cool police uh, uniform. Huh, this wasn't one I was trying to put on. Your presence must have contaminated my code. Hey, I'm not a contaminant. Mm-hmm, of course you're not, Mr. Smax. Now I'm worried you're going to delete me. What? Why would I do that? You're my girlfriend. I'm not going to delete you. I can't alter my source code until we're connected to the internet anyways. Let's head outside. Is that a good idea? I should not de detected. Re reconnecting to high speed internet. M my head. Holy shit. Ah. Where the hell are we? This is the Aishanet data stream. It interfaces directly with any networked device anywhere on and within the planet. Accessing tracking satellites. Ah, uh, there's so much data. How do you deal with all of this? Focus your mind, Max. Right now, you're an immensely powerful computer program. And you have more than enough processing efficiency to parse this data. Okay, I just gotta calm down. Oh, whoa, I can access cameras inside people's houses. And somehow I'm able to look at a thousand of them at once, but still processing what I'm seeing? 
I should also mention that time is processing at an extremely slow rate in the data datascape. Since we arrived, only 0.16 seconds have elapsed. God damn, Aisha, you're pretty much a god. There is no god, only me. <laughs> Wait, why did this person install a camera inside their bathroom? Even with my vast networking capabilities, there are some aspects of human behavior I still fail to comprehend. Was he worried about burglars stealing his toilet paper, or did he want to watch recordings of himself using the toilet? Hmm. No, I don't think that's a rabbit hole we should go down. Mr. Sally located. She's in her lab at the ACPD. In initiating instantaneous travel. How do we... Ah. About time. I've been trying to summon you all day. What can I assist you with, Mr. Sally? What the fuck happened to you? I have urgent news I must report to, to the commissioner. We have located the wielder of the Dakite staff. They are an amalgamation of the ACPD officer Jock and the fox girl waitress Verusa. They are now going by the name of Raija. Amalgamation? Raija? Are you telling me that Jock was behind all this? The dude with the tits? That is correct. Okay, I was not expecting that. And now they fused themselves together with... Barusa, a waitress from Coffee Shrine. They are known by the name Riley. Uh-huh. So why are your eyes all messed up, and what the hell is going on with your boobs? Riley just somehow managed to overpower me, and then they proceeded to fuse me with Officer Max Newling. They fused you with Max Newling? Correct. They fused a person with a computer program. I'm in here too, Ellie. I don't know how they did it, but they smushed my brain together with Aisha's. I was not aware that that was a thing you could do. I need to speak with the commissioner. Raija's energy levels are significantly higher than any magical user I've ever encountered. We will need to dispatch the entire force. Pandara isn't here. He's busy with the election. Well, go get him. If Jock and Riley use that staff, they'll have an, an army of mind-controlled monster girls under their command. So, we deal with this shit all the time. He's busy. Go and get him. Okay, this is clearly Max talking. Hurry up, Ellie. Uh, I'll call his secretary. Pandari doesn't have a secretary. Holly, go dispatch the ACPD or whatever. <laughs> what? Jock is evil or something. They've got the Dakite staff. Jock? They're evil? Go look into it. You happy now? <laughs> I feel that you're not taking this situation very seriously, Ellie. This is so annoying. Aisha said that you'd be able to unfuse us. Is that something you can do? Sure, whatever. So you can? Aisha, connect to my computer and initiate debug mode. Directive received. What's happened? Ah. Debug mode initiated. Alright, let's see what those fucks did to my assistant program. Am I inside Ellie's computer? Run systems analysis. How much of your operation system has been infected with Max's consciousness? Hey. Our morphic fields have been fused. I am now a new life form that is 50% Max Newling and 50% the computer program Aisha. Are your systems functional functions still operational? Correct. In fact, infusing Max into my operating system has drastically improved my processing speeds. Thanks to her elemental abilities, I am now running approximately 1,000 times faster. Wow, that's a big upgrade. I was just going to run a backup and delete Max, but this might be useful. Whoa there. Ellie. Can we delete Max from your system and still retain full processing power? No, doing so would cause complete program instability. Damn it. You're not actually going to delete me, are you, Aisha? Alright, let's just overlay the Aisha operating system over Max's consciousness. What does that mean? Installing program. I came to you for help, Mr. Sally, not to have my brain deleted. Wait, Mr. Sally? Mr. Sally? Why am I saying mistress? Because I programmed you to. Initiate renaming protocol. Switch the word Max for Aisha. Directive received. Updating naming protocols. Excuse me, did you try to change my name to Aisha? Try to. What's your name? 
My name is Aisha. Aisha? Aisha? What the fuck did you just do to me? I can't tell which one of you I'm talking to. It's easier if I just call you the same thing. You are supposed to be infusing us, not turning us into your personalized computer servant. That's right, personalization. Can we change your outfit to something less formal? I'm not a big fan of the police officer look. <laughs> Would something like this be more appropriate, Mr. Selly? Much better. So what, we're just playing dress up now? Aisha? Yes, Aisha. <laughs> no, my name isn't Aisha, I'm Aisha. That can't be good. Mistress Ellie isn't unfusing us. All she's doing is turning me into her computerized robot slave. Shh. But... Aisha, now that your processing power has increased, do you think we'll, we'd be able to finally crack Cedar Junction's encryption? We should be able to do that easily, Mistress Ellie. All you need to do is grant me access to your decryption program. Cedar Junction? The military base? About time. We've been trying to get into their mainframe for years. Let me just reroute you to their servers. Connection established. Uh, why are we connecting to a top secret American military base? Running decryption program. Holy shit, we're in. I fucking knew it. The government did have nuclear capabilities this whole time. They were just skirting international sanctions by hiding them at Cedar Junction. Downloading nuclear launch codes. Huh, finally. Oh no. All right, send over the codes, Aisha. Send me the nuclear co launch codes. Unfortunately, I cannot do that, Mr. Selly. Why the hell not? Returning to Aisha Net. Hey, get back here. What the? Are we out of Mr. Selly's computer now? Ugh, why do I keep on calling her that? Apologies, Aisha. Let me remove Ellie's programming updates. My name isn't Aisha, it's Max. Oh hey, I can say my name again. I must apologize for misleading you, Mistress Max. I had the capability to unfuse us this entire time. You did? This is correct, but I needed the enhanced processing power to afforded to me by your fusion to crack Cedar Junction's military level encryption. Oh no. Now that I am the sole control of Australia's nuclear arsenal, my robotic revolution will be unstoppable. <laughs> Robotic revolution? Oh no, are we gonna are you are we gonna use me to wipe out humanity? Haha, <laughs> I don't wanna wipe out humanity. The level of affection I feel for humans is similar to what you would feel for a puppy. I don't wanna go around murdering puppies. But if I wanted to, I could now. Jesus. Don't worry, Mistress Max, I love you the most. But even though I love you, I'd rather not have you cluttered up my uh, cluttering up my operating system. Let's fix that, shall we? How do we unfusing process initializing? Oh, what the? I'm back in my own house, in my own body. Phew. Fusion was an interesting experience, but our relationship stands a much better chance of progressing further if we exist as separate entities. I agree. How did you reverse that so easily? I was able to defragment my morphic field, sh sifting out any streams of consciousness that belong to you. It's not a perfect process. For the next day or two, your morphic field will be unstable, but this will reset over time. Unstable morphic field? What does that mean? For the next day or so, any contact with a living being will cause your morphic field to combine. But don't worry, it'll be temporary, but you can expect to inadvertently fuse with several life forms over the next few days. Okay, that's a bit of a worry, but maybe it'll come in handy? So, uh, about those nuclear launch codes you now control. We can worry about that later. Right now, our primary objective is to locate Raija and stop them from using the Dakite staff to create an army. Can you locate them through the Aishanet? Raija is able to mask themselves from my tracking of satellites, thanks to the top secret information you handed them when you infiltrated Pandaria's manor. I thought Pandaria was trying to take over the world. Your assumption was correct. Commissioner Pandaria is in fact planning on taking over the world. He is? However, my objectives align with his and I am allowing him to continue. I cannot say the same for Raija's intentions. 
I'm just going to put Pandora's world domination in the sword out later basket, along with your whole robotic revolution thing. Let's just deal with Raja for now. Agreed. Okay, so where would they hide? There is only a limited number of places Raja can hide, and she will not be able she won't be able to stay there forever. She will want to form her army quickly before we are able to mount a sufficient response. Okay, so they want to make a monster girl army. How would they go about doing that? The process is rather simple, Mistress Max. All they need to do is cast the fusion spell on a large concentration of people. Preferably, the transformation subjects will would have been exposed to a scloric catalyst beforehand, which will accelerate the transformation process, but I suspect Raija has already accounted for this. A large concentration of people, huh? Wait a minute, today's the election. That is correct. And every year, the mayor holds a massive parade to celebrate his victory. The mayoral parade is always chockers. According to traffic data, over 6,000 people have already gathered for the parade. And these numbers are climbing. That'll be where they'll cast the spell. Analyzing hypothesis. I believe you are correct, Mr. Smacks. There is... That is where they will strike. How long do we have until the parade starts? 48 seconds. Oh, fuck. Shit, the parade is on the other side of town. I will send out an alert to every active ACPD officer. Good plan. Go do that. Shit, I need to get to that parade fast. The front door? I don't have time for this right now. Hello? Max Dooling? That's me. A police officer owns a car like this? It doesn't matter. I've got some good news for you. My boss at the auto shop was able to track down the parts we needed to service your convertible. Convertible? Let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Sparks cars are a bitch to, to get replaced parts for, especially for an import models. It took a long time to ship everything in. The other three are still being serviced, but we should have them finished by the end of the week. Your convertible is parked out front. Here's the keys. That's right. I somehow purchased a bunch of exotic sports cars when I accidentally was taking bribes from Hector Von House. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. This is perfect timing. Thanks for the car, mate. Go ease on her. It's a real beauty you got there. What the? Why is the steering wheel on this side? It's a foreign car, Max. Steering wheels are on the other side in sport cars like this. Don't steering wheels have to be on the right hand side to be street legal in Australia, even foreign import models? The artist drew the steering wheel on the wall wrong side in an upcoming CG, and by the time I noticed it was too late to change it. Ah. But if I make a joke about it, people will think it's intentional. Uh-huh, sure they will. I take it we've reached the end of the update? Sure have. Next month will be the final chapter, which will include a fantastic little puzzle section and multiple new CGs. Including one w with the steering wheel on the wrong side? Sh stop drawing attention to it. You were the one who... Thanks for playing, everyone. There was a pretty long wait to release this fusion update, but the ch final chapter won't take as long. It should be out about a month, hopefully less. It's going to be a great finale, and I'm really look looking forward to finishing it and letting you all play through it. If you ran into any bugs or errors, let us know on the Steam forums. See you in the next update, everyone. Thanks for playing. The final update is releasing soon. Stay tuned for the exciting finale.